Robert M. Knight of Tim Knight Music and I'm here to release some exciting news to you. Those of you that uh, shop with us regularly or play our music will know that for the last couple of years we've been running competitions to uh, find new music for the organ, to give composers uh, or new composers a chance to have their music in print and performed around the world. We started with the organ music for quiet moments which is uh, just completed its first year uh, of being out in, in the, the public domain. Had lots of recordings thanks to lots of organists on YouTube. Uh, we followed it with Joyful Moments which again um, has done incredibly well and the third one in the series was Solemn Occasions. So I'm here today to announce the fact that we're about to launch the fourth one. Uh, in this blog post you'll find all the details about how to uh, enter. Um, and this time we've gone for organ music for praise and worship. So that really could be anything. We're looking for cheerful pieces, maybe not so cheerful pieces, anything that can be used in the context of a church service. Uh, and we're welcoming again composers for, from around the world. There's no fee to enter uh, and there's a, there's a cash prize uh, publication in the album. Uh, and uh, generally, thanks to some of our very fine organists, there will be recordings on YouTube of your pieces. Um, so that's today's blog and that's why we're here. Um, but we don't just bring in your attention to the fact that this is what we do. We provide organ music, there's a small selection here, from all sorts of composers. Simon Mould, very popular uh, trumpet tune, uh, and Ian Higginson, uh, and Giles Taylor, who's just a parish organist locally, never had any music published before. Uh, and there are pieces by me, uh, and of course there are pieces by our latest uh, composer added to the fleet. So, we're welcoming your entries. Organ Music for Praise and Worship, we will be opening the competition uh, as soon as this blog post is released. Um, and I think probably the closing date will be about March and the publication date soon after that. So get those pens ready over Christmas time, plenty of time over Christmas time to, to rest after the turkey. Um, and, and again, maybe just a couple of seconds before we close to ask why do we do this? Well, we do this simply because there are so many composers out there um, who never get the chance to have anything published or played or, or, or even um, to show the skills they've got. So here we are offering a chance to get your music out there, to get your music out there. So we wait for your entries.